Meatloaf has never been easier or faster to make than with this air fryer recipe. It's ready in half the time and with all of the juiciness you would normally get from baking it in the oven. Oh yeah, and that homemade glaze? It's gonna make you wanna lick your plate. I'm gonna be making a traditional beef meatloaf recipe today, but you can always feel free to switch it up and use a few other ground meats such as chicken, turkey, or even venison. Whatever you end up using, make sure you look for a meat that is a 90-10. This will give you enough juiciness while not being too fatty. Add one pound of ground beef to a large bowl, along with half a cup of very finely diced sweet or white onion. The smaller the dice, the more easily it will incorporate into the loaf. One third cup of a plain and fine breadcrumb. Avoid thicker crumbs such as panko. One large egg that has been whisked. Two tablespoons of finely chopped fresh parsley two cloves of finely minced garlic, three fourths teaspoon of salt, half a teaspoon each of dried oregano and basil, and one fourth teaspoon of black pepper. You can try to mix everything together with a spatula, but I found that the easiest way is to just get in there with your hands. It does get a little messy, but it's so much faster. Once that looks like a pretty homogenous mixture, Shape it into a loaf that is roughly six to seven inches long, three inches wide, and no more than three inches high. It's pretty important that the loaf is this shape so it all cooks up evenly in the air fryer. And speaking of the air fryer, before you even start mixing up your meatloaf, you wanna make sure that you preheat it to 380 degrees, just like you would an oven. When that's heated, spray the basket with nonstick cooking spray. Add the meatloaf to the basket and cook for 20 to 22 minutes. While the meatloaf is cooking, we'll start whisking up that homemade glaze. So go ahead and grab a medium sized bowl and add half a cup of ketchup, one tablespoon of brown sugar, and one tablespoon of Worcestershire sauce. Whisk this all together until it's smooth and well combined. Brush the glaze on the top and on all sides of the meatloaf. Return it to the air fryer for an additional five to seven minutes or until the internal temperature reaches 165 degrees. Let the meatloaf rest for five to 10 minutes before slicing into it in order to lock in all of those delicious juices. Sprinkle fresh parsley on the top before serving for a pop of color and fresh flavor. Mmm, <laughs> smells and looks so good, I cannot wait to dig in. Mmm, <laughs> it tastes as good as it looks, guys. It is so juicy and flavorful, and it was ready in almost half the time. But this isn't the only awesome dish you can make in the air fryer. If you want a few more ideas, and you have got to check out these air fryer recipes right over here. Thanks so much for hanging out. I will see you in the next one.